It is pack time once again. Today I'm going to be doing the Grinch book tags. Prepare to get your grump on. Hello everyone, it is Samantha. I hope you guys are fantastic. I cannot believe it is the day before Christmas Eve. It is insane, this year has flown by and I'm sad because Christmas is drawing to a close and that always makes me so sad. So. To channel that sadness, I decided to do the Grinch book tag because it is fun and I like doing tags. This was created by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes last year. I did it last year, but I decided to do it again. So this is kind of like a 2.0 version and see if some of my answers have changed. So let us get started. Question number one is half of the lights on the Christmas tree are burnt out. Name a book series or character that started out good but then went downhill. So this one I'm giving it to Serafina by Rachel Hartman. I really enjoyed the first part of this book and then I kind of got like a third of the way through it and it just sucked from there on out. I got so bored of it, the characters fell flat. I just cannot wait for it to be over. Just total miss for me. Total miss. Question number two is annoying great aunt Sally who will not leave you alone. Name a book that you didn't enjoy but everyone else seems to love so it never goes away. I'm going to give this a front of glass by Sarah J Mass. This was not my favorite book at all. I just did not like any of the characters. It did not feel very well developed to me. Both the world, the characters, anything. I just was not a fan. I was not a fan of this book. I tried to give Crown of Midnight a chance and it was a little bit better but it still fell flat for me, so giving this one to throw in a glass. Question number three is your pets keep knocking over the Christmas decorations. Name a character that kept messing things up for everyone else and you cannot pick a villain. I'm going to give this one to Fitz Vigilant from the Fitz and the Fool trilogy. Fitz Vigilant is not a bad character, but he's a very selfish, annoying character that only thinks about himself and he's not very nice to other people because all he can think about is himself and he kind of messes things up in a very big way, so not a fan of Fitz Vigilant. Not a fan. Question number four is you hear that your parents putting out their presents and learn Santa isn't real. Name a book you were spoiled for. I give this one a Blood of Olympus, which I still haven't bought or read yet, but I have had the ending spoiled for me. I, it was more my fault because I accidentally clicked on a video and they started talking about it and I should have clicked off, but I didn't, so shame on me. Question number five is, is freezing outside. Name a main character you just could not connect with. I'm giving this one to Selenia Sardothian from the Throne of Glass series. Just was not a fan of Selena. Really didn't care about her or her plight or anything to do with her. Just not connect with her on any level. Just, just, just fell flat. Did not have any connection there at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Throne of Glass fans. I'm glad that you guys like it. I just was not a fan. Question number six is, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is you and it's giving you anti-romantic feelings. Name a couple you couldn't stand. I'm giving this to all of the couples in Wuthering Heights. I hated this book. It was a struggle to read it. I read it earlier this year. Could not get done with it soon enough. I just could not stand any of the characters and I just wanted to be done with it so bad. It was awful. Question number seven is the scratchy homemade wool sweater you got for Christmas years ago but won't get rid of. Show some books that have been sitting on your shelf for a while and you aren't motivated to read but you don't have the heart to get rid of. First one is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I've heard mixed things about this but I'm intrigued to see what I think of it but I just haven't had the motivation to pick it up yet. Maybe soon in the new year. The other one is going to be Snow Walker by Catherine Fisher. This is a fantasy book and it was one of the first books I purchased when I was starting my booktube channel and I still haven't gotten to it. I don't know why. I just When I look at it I'm like I kind of want to read you but I kind of don't and then I don't. So again hopefully in the new year. Question number eight is Grandma's Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Name a character death you still are mad about. Warn people for spoilers. You can also use a TV or movie desk. Spoilers for Harry Potter first. Sirius, still not over it. I love Sirius Black. He was my favorite character and he died and I'm not happy about that. Second one is from Merlin, so spoilers for the last season of Merlin. Though I know that Arthur dies at the end of every Arthurian legend to return to Avalon in the moment of their greatest need, I was still not over it. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over Merlin's reaction when Arthur died. I bawled like a baby like a day after that. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but I did cry and I was not very happy and I still think about it and get a little weepy inside. It was a very, very sad moment. Question number nine, the malls are overly crowded with holiday shoppers. Name a series that has too many books in it or went on too long. I give this one to one I haven't read yet actually and that is a Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan and finished by Brandon Sanderson. I've heard super mixed things about the series. Some people love it, some people absolutely hate it and I just haven't felt like tackling it because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I have a feeling I won't and there are so many books. Like I usually like long series but in this case it just seems a little too daunting. And finally question number 10, The Grinch. Name a main character you hate. No villains. Again. Again, Wuthering Heights. All of the main characters in this book. I hated all of them. They were the most selfish, cruel, vindictive, manipulative people and I could not stand any of them. It was just awful and they pass it on to the next generation. I cannot stand them. I never wanted to physically throw a book away from myself, but I did while reading this one. It was awful, and these characters were awful, and I never, 
ever want to read it again. I don't even know why I still own it. Probably because it looks pretty and it sounds cool when you go like this. It has some redeeming factors. All right, guys, that is it for the Grinch tag. You'll have to let me know some of your answers to these questions because it's always nice to vent about books. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading. Bye!